G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from a Wednesday night uh, event I was playing here in Melbourne, but the, th the theme of it stemmed back from Adelaide when I heard a discussion from Liam Milne, uh, who was having it with Mike Doki, about a suit combination and, like, trying to... It's kind of hard to describe. It's Let's just jump straight into it. It's about a suit combination and seeing what you can do. So... Uh, on the hand, you end up in uh, three spades, okay, and the opponents uh, lead a heart. Okay, so here we have a heart loser and we have two diamond losers um, after this heart lead, and we also have one or two spade losers. Now, uh, we've got ace, ten, double turn, opposite jack, nine, eight, to uh, seven. And the question is, how should you actually play this suit combination? Now, there are four spades missing, and you're missing the king, the queen, and two little ones. And we, we can't pick up four zero splits, and if the suit breaks 2-2, two, two, then we only have one loser no matter what. Um, because we can't repeat the finesse. So, the situation we're talking about is any time you've got a nine card fit, where you can play like a spade to the ten playing for the spades to be on side, but you can't repeat the finesse. So we can't pick up four zero uh, spades on side. But what's really interesting is, let, let's look at the three one splits. So we're missing the king, the queen, and uh, the six and the three. Now, if, if this player has uh, a singleton king or singleton queen, we want to uh, cash the ace. Uh, if the west, if this player has a singleton king or queen, whatever we do will work. And if our right hand opponent has a singleton three or six, we want to lead low towards the ten. So again, four zero uh, splits we can't do anything about. Two two we don't need to worry about because they all work. So it is just the three ones, and there's nothing to go on because. Uh, there's two small singletons and there's two uh, honor singletons, so it's completely even. So, uh, what I always thought is just cash the ace and it's just nice and simple, spade to the ace and another spade. But the, the important thing came up with is when you're playing against human players, people are lazy and there's a really interesting thing that you can do. Which is, let's say that uh, they win the ace of hearts and they uh, cash two rounds of diamonds and uh, on the hand we actually played a third diamond so not particularly testing but uh, uh, you can throw a heart they get to uh, and you get to rough okay uh, which the, the rough and discard didn't matter so one, one thing you can do is lead the jack of spades and see if you cover but what the uh, the thing that we actually decided was uh, you should lead the jack of spades first of all to see if you get a cover if you can afford it but look at the uh, little spade that gets played. So, on the assumption that people tend to be lazy, uh, if someone had, say, queen, six, three of spades, or king, six, three of spades, they should randomize whether they play the six or the three. Uh, but most people in trumps just tend to play their lowest card a lot. Um, now, if you see the six, then it means that they probably don't have queen, six, three, or uh, king, six, three. Which means that the chance of the other hand having a singleton honor is now reduced, even though it hasn't actually with the probability, but trying to read people and trying to see what they do. But so if you play a spade and see the highest remaining uh, spade that's not an honor, we reckon that you should actually uh, finesse here and play for king, queen, third spade. Whereas if you saw the three, now what's happened is you're comparing uh, king, six, three, queen, six, three, and king queen three and now that would give you two to one odds that you should actually play for a singleton honor so the justification we came up with here is you lead a spade and on the assumption that people don't randomize their cards as often as they should then if they play the lowest one you should play the ace and see if the uh, play for a singleton honor whereas if you uh, lead a card and you see the second highest pip then you should finesse, because it's more likely that there's king-queen third. Anyway, uh, it was an interesting suit combination. Uh, kind of tricky to actually explain, uh, but uh, we reckon that uh, 
yeah. I'll open it up. I'll let you see all the cards. So here, on the actual hand, King, Queen, uh, Third Spades on side, and you can actually uh, finesse it. So leading a spade to the 10 or running the jack is what you actually want to do. Um, and it, it's a complete guess. won't always work. And it can obviously be manipulated by people that know this strategy. If they've got uh, Queen, Six, Three, or King, Six, Three, they should always be playing the Six if they know that you know this. But it's about judging your opponents and trying to draw some small inference about what you should play when it's completely even whether you should cash the ace and play another one or uh, finesse to the 10. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hand of the week and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.